In the scheme of things, the Industrial Revolution has only been around for a speck of the time that we humans have been on the planet. But in that short amount of time, it did mean the end of a way of life for untold numbers of artists and craftspeople. But there are some things that the machine can never replace. Aya Heward is living the life of her dreams, and you can see those dreams flow out through her hands onto the canvas. Dreams one step closer to reality because of Aya's life as a painter. I love doing surf, and, mm. and I love doing the moods. Aya knew at a young age she was going to be an artist. My first painting I did when I was around 11 years old, and it was in oil. A junior high teacher gave me two tubes of color <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and white. It gave me goosebumps, that very first painting. I knew from then on that I would always paint. I like to explore new media all the time, and especially with painting. Silk is fascinating because it works a little bit like watercolor, and yet it's far more challenging than watercolor. I get inspired by looking at magazines, I get inspired by walking the beach, and something odd will strike me, and, I, and that will be the beginning of a, a piece. So that's going to be that guy here. Like this trip to the beach and an afternoon of photography with some willing clam diggers. I do follow themes, uh, the ocean being one of them. Because I'm Finnish, I, I do scenes from Finland. I use personal experience. This is Duxbury Beach, of course. Michigan is where my husband and I met. Joining the fourth floor artists, Aya's studio is in Rockland, in a building with over 70 other artists. There are all kinds of artists in this building. I've really found this a fun place to be, simply because the creativity just seeps through the walls. <laughs> and uh, great people here. Coming from a family with talents in many different arts, in the year 2000, Aya inherited her brother's stained glass equipment and because of a recent trip to Finland, family heirlooms will make their way into this artist's work. Sometimes I use them in my stained glass. Sometimes uh, if they're chipped, I'll break them up and use them in mosaic. There are many of my grandmother's and my mother's plates where the teacups were missing. I brought the plates here to America, not really knowing what I would do with them. But as soon as I got them here, um, it, it just seemed natural to put them into the stained glass. So that's one of my themes with stained glass is using the antique plates in the center and uh, building around them. And I kind of let the plate tell me what to do. This part is not a plate, it's, it's part of an antique lamp. So it turns out that artists and craftspeople are good for the environment. I hate to see landfills <laughs> full of good glass. <laughs> I'm kind of a big one on, on trying to reuse and repurpose things. The baby buntings are uh, a design that my mother made for our sons. As a visual right-brain thinker, creativity comes in many forms for this Duxbury artist even crocheting hats that have removable flower buttons. But when it's all said and done... I'm hoping that, that people find pleasure in my artwork. And in the end, those who appreciate the artwork of others give the best gift of all. I also get a real kick out of how delighted people are when they purchase something of mine. Um, sometimes it's, it's a complete surprise to me. Uh, and a delight. You can meet Aya Heward on October 29th at the Abington Community Crafts Fair. 
That's hosted at the Abington Senior Center at 441 Summer Street on Saturday, October 29th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. You know, as I indicated at the beginning of the story, the Industrial Revolution ended a way of life for a lot of artists and craftspeople. But I also said that the machine can't replace certain things, and I hope you saw that in the story. Because the machine will never replace the human touch, the human heart, or the human soul. Oil colors and turpentine Blends the colors of the mind And no machine will ever take all the beauty that you make canvas dreams canvas dreams